Okay, remind me to kill myself if I ever, ever do that again. This is weird. I don't remember this on the SNES cartridge. Well, I know this is a walkthrough, but I want to show I have some balls, so... No, I'm not that stupid. Well, anyway, this is Razor for anyone who wants... No. Keep an eye out, or, like, listening right now. This is Razor. It opens up that you, come, that you apparently wake up, and you have a naked angel in front of you. I mean, let's just hope it's a female. Am I right? Now, I could put something stupid, but... I figure you should at least know my first name by now. Anyway. Yeah, by the way, that's my actual first name. Apparently, the story of Backraiser is, uh... You are... A god or some godlike figure, or a servant of God, or something of the line. I don't know. It's not really important. And apparently you went to fight your arch enemy and apparently you fucked up. Like, you fucked up bad. So you've been away for five hundred years now, and society's gone to hell. So Angel gives you the minor introduction. Go to fight monsters. So you have to do all that. So she sends you down to Earth. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna do it. Yeah. Hey, wait. How come you're not coming? Oh, gee, thanks, bitch. You just sent me on my own. God, servants are useless these days. In any case, let's start uh, Act One. Don't worry about getting used to your character. It's gonna be very easy to grasp. It's a basic side-scrolling hack and slash. Anyway, just go around chopping. Now, I, this seems definitely a little bit different because I never played this version. The version I had was the original SNES cartridge. There's no difficulty mode that you do. In the, in, the, in the cartridge I had, there was no difficulty mode that you could choose from. So this has got to be like some different version. Or maybe it's a different version of the actual game. Because, like, I don't remember that coconut. Do be able to know that you do have to take out this guy in order to move on. Just chop him three times in the head. And somehow a log out of nowhere comes out. Ew. While I'm doing this, I'll give you... I'll give... For anyone who is just, like, is seriously a nerd, or, like, seriously has no life, if you want to build up a really high score in this game, just... Kill a bunch of monsters, then when you're low in life, grab that extra life, and then keep fighting until you die, and then just repeat the process over and over until you have a high score that fits. There, not only did not only are you gonna learn how to play this game, but you're also now gonna learn how to build up a high score. Anyway, the blue goblins are nothing to worry about. That bird is annoying as hell. The bees, if you don't kill one of them, they'll keep coming out. So you need to kill one, and then after that they'll stop coming. Yeah. Don't worry about him, he's actually an ally. Jump on his hands. Pick up the extra life. Yeah, normally I would have ran through that on the some of this. Not a particularly best start, I know, but whatever. This, card, this realm has a little bit more surprises than I originally thought. Whoa, 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 oh, I'm not that stupid anymore. Ha ha ha! I outsmarted thee! Oh god damn you stupid fucking dude. Alright. Now don't worry about the trees, they actually will help you. You can use them to get across. If you need help, go grab that apple up there, it'll restore you fully. Apparently don't touch the spikes, they take more damage. Now, when the boss first comes, you actually have a chance to inflict a lot more damage to him. Like, a few early damage to him. The way you do so is, uh, jump down, like, make a leap, and then just run straight towards him. You should be able to get one, two, or three hits on him. But other than that, there's nothing really much you have to worry about this boss. If he gets close, uses his lightning attack, just walk away. If he uses his charge attack, you duck.
And after that, it, the rest is easy. See? Yay! And that's how I, and that's Act 1 for you. No problem whatsoever. After that, after you beat a stage, your remaining time is converted into points, and then each of your lives counts as a thousand extra points. And then you're probably fully healed, but there's no point. Then you turn back into a stone statue, which doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, whatever. Um, here's part one. The next part, we're gonna be, uh, going over, uh, how to find, how to build a society. Um, because of the fact I can't do that all in nine minutes, uh, expect the game to f speed up once in a while.